Hey guys, I'm going to be putting up um, more of these strategy videos and how I approach the game and what I do. And what I wanted to do is actually just kind of put down on the paper and go over really quick some of the principles that go behind what it is that I do and why I do what I do. So rather than just me just try to give you the ideas while I'm actually playing the game, if I can just sit here and actually say this is what I do and then this is the result of when you watch me play the game. Um, and this whole concept, guys, th this is really just for, this is how I approach the game because I'm trying to get chicken dinners. I'm not worried about a high kill count. And these strategies that I try to implement, I, to be honest, I, I really, I think they only really work if you're playing solo first person perspective. I, I don't know how well it would work for third person um, and for duos. Uh, unless your partner thinks exactly the same way as you, um, you're going to have difficulty trying to implement some of this stuff. Um, uh, and definitely not with squads. Squads just, you know, there, there's different tactics that go into squads. So let's jump straight into what it is that I think and how I do what I do and why I'm doing it. So first thing is try to be selective with where it is that you jump. So for me, I try to always pick non-populated areas. The reason for that is I want to get down on the ground. I want to try to loot as much as I can. Uh, and then I want to get into a fight. Doesn't always work out. Sometimes I got to get into a fight. Sometimes I win. Sometimes I lose. You know, it happens. But at the end of the day, I'm trying to pick spots where I think I can get to multiple houses and also get to a road. So if I have to get to a vehicle, I can do that really, really quickly. So the idea of giving away your position for free, okay, I try to avoid vehicles at all costs. If I can run to the next circle, I'm always going to choose running. I'm never going to choose a vehicle, and the reason is because I don't wanna give away my position for free. And that's what a vehicle is to me. It's just like saying, hey everybody, here's here's where I'm at and here's where I'm going and uh, you're welcome. Um, and it's sort of the same principle with uh, taking shots. Uh, we'll talk about shots a little bit later on, but if you're taking a shot at somebody, you gotta remember to yourself that by doing so, I'm giving away my position, so is this the best moment and the best time to take a shot at somebody? Because if it's not, um, you probably shouldn't take it because again, giving away your position. Okay, for me, when I'm playing what I wear, I try to make myself less identifiable. Um, I try to wear black. So the reason I do that is because I like to stick to the shadows and it, I, I'm more difficult to see when I'm sticking to the shadows. So I try to wear, I have a black beanie, I have a, a black uh, face mask, black shirt, black pants. So that's what I'm trying to do is to uh, just make myself less identifiable. Now it doesn't mean, you know, at the end of the day, I love seeing all the different players and all the different outfits and everything. I think it's really funny. It's just for me, when I'm playing, I'm trying to get the chicken dinner. I'm not worried about anything else. So. That's why I try to wear what I wear, but at the end of the day, you know, wear whatever you want because it is fun. Uh, raiding and looting. This is a key thing for me. Um, after 10 minutes, I'm basically done. Like if I, whatever it is that I've got after 10 minutes for the most part, um, that's what I've got. And anything else I'm going to get, I'm usually going to get off of somebody I take out. It's not going to be... Um, me running into buildings, you know, 20 minutes in, 30 minutes in, you know, whatever it is that you've got after 10 minutes, you need to realize, okay, now it's go time. No more running into buildings uh, because it just, it, 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 it distracts you from what's going on around you when you should be sort of focused on where the other players are uh, after 10 minutes. Instead, you're, you're like, oh man, I got to get a boost or I, I got to try to find a, a four scope. Um, uh, 10 minutes, be done. So position, this is a big thing. Um, for me, when I'm playing, I try to always stick to the shadows. If I'm in a building, um, I, I don't get right in front of a window. Um, at least not directly in front, and I always try to stay back. And make sure that you're always leaning when you have the ability to lean into a shot uh, or lean to look out somewhere. Uh, and if you haven't set your... Um, uh, your settings for the double tap lean, definitely do that. It makes it a lot easier. So I know a lot of players haven't done that uh, and you definitely should. Um, for the hill incline, you what I'm basically saying there is always try to be elevated, be on top of the hill, but don't be at the very, very top. 
Um, you don't want people behind you to be able to kind of see you from a distance, but you do want to be more elevated than down in a valley. Um, for foliage, you've got to remember that most players who they set their settings to be at the, you know, very low for foliage. And it be, and it's because it's a lot easier to see somebody. And I've been killed so many times because I'm laying down somewhere and I'm thinking in my head, like, yeah, okay, I can't be seen. And sure as the world, a guy who's, you know, a hundred meters away, uh, with a four scope, uh, yeah, he sees me clearly. And he just starts rattling off headshots and takes me out because I'm actually not hidden. Um, so you got to be really selective about where it is that you're hiding, uh, especially when you're laying down. If, if, if there's any kind of elevation around you, you're probably going to end up being seen. That's just a part of the game. So you got to be really selective with that. So whenever you have the opportunity, go up. Just always go up. Uh, it's always better to be in an elevated position than down in a valley. Now there's you know, positives and minuses to that. Um, I don't want to go into too much detail, but for the most part, if there's ever an opportunity for me to go up rather than to go down, I always try to do that. It's a little bit easier to get to cover uh, when you're going up, uh, if you're fighting somebody who's down below you. Um, so always try to do that when you can. All right, so as far as fighting goes, look, the way that I approach it is I look for the advantage. If I don't have the advantage or I don't think I have the advantage, then I don't engage. Um, doesn't mean that I'm, I won't engage the person later because that's what I'm looking for is if I'm not going to get into a fight right now, I got to look to get into a fight with them later. But when I think I can have the advantage, whether it, it, I'm going to have the advantage from being uh, having more cover than the person uh, or whether I'm thinking, OK, they're going to have to run into an open area so they can't get to cover or if it's just, you know, I'm going to end up having a better shot um, through elevation or whatever. So just look to have the advantage when you get into a fight for those of us who aren't amazing shots with the car 98 because i'm not um you know this is a good principle to sort of apply um shots to avoid and this is just really errant shots so if you see somebody off in the distance what a lot of people like to do is just start shooting wildly like maybe you'll hit them maybe you'll get them down um one it gives away your position two um, if you can't get the person down, you got to say to yourself, is this really the shot that I want to take? Because if I don't get them down, they know where I'm at. And if they can get into a better position than I am, then they can take me out. So by getting into a firefight that you shouldn't get into, you might end up actually um, getting yourself taken out. Um, and the last thing is to kind of use others. What I mean by this is what I like to do is to trail players. So if I've got somebody in front of me and I see them and we're on our way to a circle, um, what I try to always do is get right behind them because typically players don't look exactly right behind them. Instead, what they're doing is they're looking in front. So they're looking right, left, and straight ahead. They're not looking exactly behind them. So when you have an opportunity to kind of use those guys as bait, um, what they'll end up doing is either getting killed and then you'll know where the person took them out or that person will end up taking somebody else out and then as they go over to loot them or raid them, um, even if they don't, you can still run up behind them and then you can take them out because they don't see you coming and you are basically are going to have a direct line of sight on them. You know where they're going to end up being. So those are the principles typically of how I approach the first person perspective. And uh, so let's just go ahead and jump into games so you can kind of see the way that I'm talking about using these things. Uh, so thanks so much and uh, we will see you. We'll kind of get going here. All right, now, if you look at where I dropped, now, something that I try to do, I try not to jump into highly populated areas. The reason for that, for me, is I want to get on the ground, I want to kind of get some loot, I want to raid, uh, and have at least a little bit of a buffer before I have to get into a fight. Doesn't always work out, sometimes I have to get into a fight right away, sometimes I win, sometimes I lose, etc., etc. So... In this game in particular, um, I drop down here and uh, the flight path of the plane, um, golly, now I'm trying to remember the flight path of the plane, but I, if I remember correctly, we basically came down, uh, I think it came down this way, 
I think. I think it can, I, I don't really remember now, but it doesn't matter. So anyway, uh, here's what I do know. Uh, I know that there's going to be less people over on this side, and that ends up making a difference uh, at the end of the game. So as you can see here, uh, you know, I got one guy up in the quarry. I have two guys over here in Primorsk. And uh, we're not going to spend a whole lot of time. I am going to go ahead and set it to two times. So we're going to advance. So here's just what happens. Uh, sort of a recap. Um, actually, something happens that's really funny uh, in this game. This guy, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll show it. i got to advance a little bit here. Okay, so I'm now in a vehicle. I'm moving up to here, um, so I've raided here. These guys are coming back. I'm going to advance a little bit more. Now, the funny thing you'll see that happens, this guy makes a mistake and ends up jumping into the... Maybe he's new to the game, I don't know. But he, uh, <laughs> he went straight off. And uh, poor guy can't get back up. Here's me. I'm finally back into a vehicle, and I take off, and that guy just basically ends up staying there and dies. Poor fella. So here's what's happening with me. Um, now, here's what I know at this point. I know that there's less people down in this area. Now, what I'm trying to do, as you'll see, is I'm trying to get to Milta because that is going to be well within the next circle. So I'm outside the play zone. I will be here shortly. And I don't know if there's anybody basically in Milta at this point. Turns out there's not. There's nobody here. And I knew there wouldn't be a lot of people, but I thought there'd be somebody. So what we're going to do, we're going to advance a little bit here. Uh, at this point, this is the new circle. And uh, I try to always use the terrain. You know, I know the maps really well, so I always know where the terrain is, where you've got cover, where you don't have cover, etc., etc. So, uh, I always like to be way south or way north of the circle. That way I can kind of pick where I want to go, uh, where I'm going to have the most cover. Like, I would know that if I had gone to the farm instead of Milta, I have an open plain area to deal with. And there's an elevated hill there. So if you're running up from down here, anybody up on the ridge is going to be able to just take you out. Now, I'm dealing with the plains here, but um, there's a ton of forest area. And that's where I'm trying to get because that's where I'm going to have cover. So what I end up doing in this game is I start moving up. And you'll see that there's really just a few people up here in this forest. We're already down to 17 people. I haven't even engaged anybody at this point. Uh, I haven't even really seen anybody at this point to, to even fight uh, so far. Do, do, do. So we're just going to kind of let you see what I end up doing. I just advance up and I get up to here. And we'll just fast forward a little bit and we'll get to this point. So. Do, do, do. All right, so this is where I tried to make a really good decision in regards to the uh, circle. Now, as you can see, the circle ended up being right here past the prison. So what I did was I ran all the way across and up. And the reason I did that is because I did not want to have to deal with coming down out of the woods right next to the prison because I knew people would be coming out of the prison and I knew that there would be other people coming over from the uh, uh, from the left there and that the majority of the people would be in this area now we're down to 11 at this point so this guy okay I tell you what um, it, it, never do this and I'm going to back up just for a second, just so you can kind of see what this guy did, which was such a mistake. Okay. I'm going to pause it right there. Okay, this guy right here. I don't know if he's new to the game. You know, I don't know what his story is. But here's what you do not do. This guy was trying to still loot. He was trying to raid. Now, this guy just came out of the prison. 
and I didn't show it, but this guy was actually running into all of these buildings. There are basically less than 20 people when he was doing that. That is the worst decision that you can make. First of all, all of this stuff is already gone. The prison is a popular area. All of the stuff that you would want to get, it's gone. So if you're still looking for things at this point, you're still trying to loot, you have made a terrible decision because you're not going to find it. So then he hops into this building and he's still trying to loot. And then he hops up into here and this poor guy runs into this guy. And this guy is just trying to be sly and coy and he's doing a good job of it. And boom, he gets taken out. So while this is going on, I'm over here and I am trailing hot iced tea. Now I had seen this guy earlier moving down, so here's something else that you want to do. Whenever you have the option to basically go up, go up. You don't want to go down. You do not want to go down into a valley. You don't want to be in a position where someone could be elevated against you. So I had lost track of this guy, but I knew he was basically right in front of me. So I'm kind of looking for him. I know that I've got time that the circle is going to come in pretty slow on my area because you can see in the mini map um, where I'm at that the blue line is going to be coming in a little bit slower than it would be if I was way north. So I see this guy. I'm trailing him. We're basically in the next circle. So I, I don't have to worry about the circle. I see this guy. And now I'm just going to take him out. So I get that guy done, I move up to here, I'm in the circle, so now I've got my first kill. Now, sort of the funny thing is, this guy is still sitting in here, I'm not sure what his name is, it's Yex in Yukti, whatever. Now, I can't quite figure out, this guy's making some mistakes. Now, he's hanging out in here, which is fine, he's in the circle, uh, he's not in the next circle, but he's got time. But now he's kind of checking. You want to be careful getting into buildings at this point because people look for them. You know, if you're in a building, you, you kind of need to see what you're doing. Now, then he makes a mistake. Um, and it's sort of delayed reaction with some of the sound. But this guy jumps out this window. Now, I hear it. So he doesn't see me. He doesn't even see me. If you'll notice here, he looks right at me. Didn't see me right there. Didn't see me, and it's because I try to wear all black. Makes me a little more difficult to see when you're in the shadows, so that's something strategically that I try to do is just always wear black. Uh, so it helps with the shadows. So I've now made a decision. There's four of us left. Now here's, <laughs> here's kind of what happens. I'm using this guy as bait. I am just going to trail him. I could take him out. I could really kind of kill him. I've had multiple opportunities to do it, but there's no point. And the reason there's no point is because I know that this guy is not looking behind him and that there's three other people for me to deal with. That's what I know. So I'm just going to stay in this guy's six. I'm going to stay right behind him, and I'm just going to advance up. So we'll kind of look at it from my perspective. I'm letting this guy just sort of be the bait. If he gets into a fight and kills somebody, good, because then I can take him out. If he ends up getting killed by somebody, um, I'm going to see where those shots are coming from, so then I'll know where the next guy is. Now, I chuck a grenade right over there, and the reason I did it was I actually thought I wasn't paying attention to where the blue line was. I, I saw him lay down. I thought that's where the blue line was going to end, and it obviously didn't. So this guy now is taking damage. He moves up. And he's getting ready to kill this guy. Now, what Cabbage Ducks just did is he took out the guy who was over here. And it happened so quick that I didn't realize, I didn't pay attention to it. So now this guy's trying to heal up. He takes him out. And now he advances up. This is when I realized, wow, it's down to two of us. So the guy that was over there to the right, he's already gone. And so now I know where the last guy is because it's the guy I've been trailing. And I've got all the advantage in the world because I know this guy is not looking behind him. He thinks that I'm going to be over on the other side. So you can kind of see right here 
And if you look here, so I'm looking at the next circle. I know that this guy is in this area. I, this is what I know. So I know he's going to have to cross in front of me. I, this, I mean, it's it's what's going to happen. He's going to walk right in front of me. Sure enough, I see movement, pull it up, and now he starts chucking grenades because he doesn't know where I'm at. And I end up... Uh, delayed, but I end up taking them out. And there you go, chicken dinner. Right then and there. And I just used as much strategy as I could. I took advantage of this guy being in front of me. Instead of taking him out when I had an opportunity, I used him as sort of a, uh, just sort of bait in front of me, uh, using that guy to the best of my ability in order to be in a position to win the game. Boom, chicken dinner. So that is that game. Alrighty guys, so we are jumping into a another game that I played. Now, I am jumping into this area. This is on the uh, northwest point of the... Or I'm sorry, northeast point of the map. So, I don't know why that's so funky, but whatever. Alright, so... I, what I had noticed was I saw this guy come with me. So hopefully this, okay, there it goes vertical now. Or horizontal. So I see this guy come with me. Boom, boom, boom. Look, if you got somebody right with you, get a gun and you go and you track him down. And that's going to be uh, what you have to do. And this guy made a terrible decision in trying to use the crossbow. Now, I, he had picked up a 45. Um... Uh, look, when you have the opportunity to use a crossbow in uh, um, the, in the game, knock yourself out, have fun. But at the end of the day, it's uh, you know close quarters combat. No, you get the pistol out. Uh, you're going to need to do that. But anyway, so uh, I get really lucky to start the game because I'm in an area. There's other people around me at this point, um, but we're in the circle. So what we're going to do is we're going to advance uh, way up so I can kind of show you. What I've done now is I've moved up because I wanted to see where the um, circle was basically going to end. And I knew that there were people over in this area and uh, I was hoping that they were gonna come up here and I could basically take them out this guy does come up I try to advance on him unfortunately I don't kill him and as the next circle comes in and I'm in a good spot but this guy ends up um, kinda raiding here and then gets back into his vehicle and right when he gets into his vehicle is when I sort of show up and uh, he takes off so I, I don't I don't get him down at this point Now, as you can see where I'm at where the next circle is uh, I like coming down off of this mountain there's a lot of cover and when you're in this area of the mountain you don't ever have to worry about people on your left you're only gonna worry about people on your right so it actually works out really, really well um, for being in this area. And that's where I try to get the guy, but unfortunately I don't get him. And now I got to book it. Because that guy is going to advance. And what we end up doing, we'll just go ahead and fast forward quite a bit here. And we have now down to 15 of us, and I've worked my way down from the mountain, and I got super cheesed off here. I was coming down so late from the mountain that this airdrop had already been here. And it had just, it had come down, but I ran right past it. I'm not showing it, but I ran right past it over on this side, and there wasn't anybody in that area. And so I don't know what goodies were in there, but... Uh, <laughs> I could have gotten to it, and it wouldn't have made a difference. I wouldn't have taken any damage because there was nobody. I just assumed there was going to be people over there. Now, here's what I'm doing. Anytime you can kind of hug the rail of the circle, uh, it's going to come in at a slower rate. And it just kind of helps you. 
because I'm not taking damage. I'm getting to the circle, etc., etc. So here we are. There's nine of us left. We're in Pollyanna. I end up seeing um, some guys over here. I can hear gunfire. These two guys, I guess I shouldn't shake the camera. So here we are. There's nine of us left, and we know we're going to end up in this field. So that's good and bad. Good because it kind of makes it a level playing field for everybody. Anyone who's in a building at this point is uh, not going to have that advantage. It's a bad thing because at the same time, you're going to have to get into the circle, so everyone is going to kind of see you. So here's what happens. These two guys are in their fight. Jack Plague, he ends up taking off. LLC Riot jumps down. Now, I can hear at this point somebody coming over. Okay, well, it's not showing me with a helmet. I obviously have a helmet at this point. So I guess I had a helmet. I don't know why the replay won't show a helmet. Um, I also wear a, ga a gas mask, not, uh, not that mask. I don't, I don't know why it's doing that. Something funky with the replays. So, we're now down to six of us. I can hear somebody with a car 98 over here. So, I'm trying to advance to where this guy is. I see him and get down immediately and start crawling because I've made it. And now I don't want this guy to see me. So, I'm trying to heal up. I know that I got guys over to my right at this point. But... I start using Cloudless. Now, I know that he's going to be taking out some of these folks. I'm going to see if he can't kill, you know, one or two more, and then I'm going to try to take them out. I give it a little bit of time, and I finally decide, you know what, let's go ahead and try to take him out because I'm going to have to advance into the circle that Cloudless is in. So he's already in position, which is kind of a bad thing for him to be in. So I start taking shots. He does not see me exactly. He kind of, you, can, you can tell where I'm at, so you're looking, but he doesn't know exactly. So he just chucks a bunch of grenades. Excuse me. Chucks a bunch of grenades. And, uh, yeah, no one has a helmet. So we're all wearing helmets. I don't know why it's doing that, but whatever. So... See, at this point, he is going to end up getting sniped because a cutie can see him. Now, Cloudless starts shooting at him. And he, boom, takes him out with a headshot. So, a cutie is actually, you know, shooting pretty well. Gets that headshot on that guy. Now, at this point, I am just crawling. I am just crawling to get into uh, the circle at this point. Because um, I know that I can get in there. I know I'm not going to have to worry about it. You know, the blue line is coming, but it's not coming at a fast enough rate. And there's no point in me standing up. Because, now I'm looking this way because I was thinking that somebody might try to swing around this side. Because I knew where one guy was. I knew where a cutie was in that area. I didn't know where the other guy was. So I'm just going to kind of chill there and look. I don't even have any boosts at this point, which uh, really stunk. In fact, I had a level 3 helmet. I remember that now in this game. I had a level 3 helmet. Now, what's sort of funny is a cutie will end up seeing, and uh, we'll fast forward a little bit, um, a cutie ends up seeing uh, Megadan because Megadan did not crawl fast enough and so Megadan had to uh, get up into a crouch and he had to start to move and so we're sitting here and we are looking and so Dan is just unfortunately for him kind of gives away his position uh, a cutie ends up seeing him doesn't know exactly where he ends up but you'll see Dan start to get up. There he is. So now a cutie sees him. He knows he's in that area. And cutie says, you know what? Rather than run over there and make noise, because I don't see him, let's just chuck a grenade. And boom, boom. Takes him out. So now it is heads up. 
and we'll just kind of look at it from his perspective. Now, he knows I'm somewhere in that field, but I won't get up. Now, I start to move. He sees me at the last second, but it's too late. I take him out because I saw him well before he saw me. Uh, just kind of look at it from my perspective to see what it is that I'm seeing. So I'm moving up. There he is. So I see him. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Over. Done. Another chicken dinner. And uh, just try to use every advantage that I had with the terrain, etc., etc. 